Welcome back to another Ramrod Recommends. We're here to talk about the Predator. What do you think, Vinny? Should we talk about Predator? Who's that? There's something in them trees and in no man. Vinny wasn't allowed to watch The Predator because they wouldn't let him into the IMAX, which I think is bullshit because he likes movies just as much as we do. So, sorry Vinny, you can't comment on The Predator. What's not to be excited about? Shane Black returns with The Predator, the guy who played Hawkins in the first movie and the guy who wrote fucking Lethal Weapon, along with Fred Decker, who's horror royalty, the man behind Night of the Creeps and fucking Monster Squad. So we went into The Predator very, very excited. But whoa, 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 wait, what happened? It needed huge reshoots. Why? That's never a good sign when films get reshot re before they're released. Why the fuck do test audiences get to determine what I enjoy? Well, anyway, that's not a good sign. So going into The Predator, I was a little bit apprehensive about what the fuck got cut out. The Predator is a weird mishmash of ideas all splurged together. It reminded me of a Saturday Night Live sketch with The Predator in it. No shit. It's really fucking funny. It's really funny. Shane Black's good at writing banter. There's nobody else like him in the business. That's but the thing that my man. this is a Predator movie. And everybody's going to compare The Predator to Predator? I mean, you can't help it. A movie with fucking huge, massive Special Forces soldiers reduced to terrified little boys by this ultimate hunter. The Predator does not do that. Everybody in this film is cracking a joke every five minutes. No, every 10 seconds, maybe even every five seconds. Everybody's cracking a joke. The plot briefly is Boyd Holmbrook from uh, the bad guy from Logan. He's an army ranger who happens to see an alien spacecraft crash on Earth during a sniper mission. And then he is then hunted by shady government officials who think he saw an alien. And our alien is the predator. Um, he then gets captured and questioned by the authorities who try and throw him into uh, the loony bin on the loony bus. I don't know if that's politi is it even politically correct? I don't know. So while he's on this bus getting escorted off, he meets the loonies, as they're referred to, which is our squad of soldiers played by various well-known actors. And they all do a really good job. They're supposed to be playing crazy people. Is that politically correct? I don't know what I'm allowed to say anymore. But Anyway, they're on this bus and they do see the Predator. Then all the shit hits the fan and they are determined to hunt down this Predator and stop him. Parallel to this story, Boyd Holbrook's son was sent a package at the beginning and it's Predator technology, which he is trying to keep as evidence that he saw an alien. He steals it uh, from the crash site at the beginning and sent it to his son. You see how jumbled around this review's getting? Well, the film's kind of like that. You're jumping from this weird, like, late 80s action comedy with the Predator in it to this uh, story of a young boy who's got Asperger's syndrome and he's being bullied at school and it's very tender and very heartfelt. And then it jumps back to people saying fuck a lot and people getting like stabbed in the head and their faces ripped off and cut in half and their guts hanging out. Like real hardcore a action violence that movies used to get banned for in the 80s. And then it'll jump back to like a little boy using Predator technology. And then it'll jump back to something else. Whoa, Shane Black, what the fuck were you thinking? There is a point in this movie where you can see where the studio has said, reshoot it from here because the final quarter of this movie does not fit with the rest of the film. It is rushed. It's not what I expected at all. And Shane Black is capable of writing a great script and delivering a fucking great movie. I only need to say things like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and Iron Man 3. This guy knows what he's doing. But in The Predator, I don't know what the fuck he was going for. It's too funny maybe? And there's no tension. Again, I'll refer back to the first movie and the second movie where you felt genuine dread and tension when the Predator was coming to get you. In this, because they're all loonies, they're not afraid of him. They're just saying, oh, alien, and then shooting at him. Predator should be a little bit tense. The whole thing is he's hunting you and you don't know it until he stabbed you in the face. And this does happen in this movie, but... You're laughing too much to feel any tension? I don't know, it's, it's, it's one of those movies. You're gonna love it, 
or you're going to think it's dumb. I loved it, and I think it's dumb. I will be buying it on Blu-ray, and I will want to watch it again, and I'd be fascinated to know what got cut out of Shane Black's original vision. We've all seen the stuff on the internet with the Predators fighting alongside the humans in broad daylight on fucking tanks. Well, that probably would have fitted better with this movie when you see it rather than what happens in the last quarter and the fucking end the final like minute of this movie oh i don't know what well, make your own fucking minds up but the predator for what it's worth wow was it fun i mean in imax 3d it was just the sort of summer movie well end of summer movie that i really gobble up it was really funny it was really well acted it was really, really, really violent. And I mean, stabby, guts hanging out, eyeballs flying, heads getting chopped off. This is a hard 18 certificate movie. How the fuck is it a 15? Go and see it for the violence. Go and see it for the Predator kilns because they are fucking awesome. They are the best Predator kilns in the series. You get to see what the Predator is capable of in all its blood splattered, gory glory. That was a mouthful. Ramrod recommends The Predator. As weird and as stupid as it was, fuck knows what's going to happen with the franchise going forward. I really don't think Shane Black's going to be given another Predator movie. And I really do think, unfortunately, they're going to have to reboot it again after this one. And you'll know what I mean when you see it. Another Ramrod recommends. Go and see The Predator. Comment below and let me know what you thought. If it was good, if it was shit. So thanks to all my subscribers as always. And we'll see you again for another Ramrod recommends right here with Vinny. Vinny who's now eating a sock. So bye for now. Give me my sock back.